Grab the scissors, lady. We're going Lorena Bobbitt on his ass. No, don't. Don't go Lorena Bobbitt on anything. Well, hello everybody, it's me, GSD Boxer. And today, I'm taking a look at the armoire. Not too sure what this game is about. I just saw that it looked like a gem in the sea that is Game Jolt. I don't know what's going on with Game Jolt lately, but man, it's really hard to find some good games on there. Uh, so, what is this game about? Well, I don't know. All I know is that it's a point and click adventure. It's named after a piece of furniture. And I'm ready to play, so let's get going. I married him three weeks after my 17th birthday. He was the best match I could possibly make, him being rich and decently fine of figure. Oh, this is us. This is our mans? Hey, mans? Although we are but newlyweds, I do think I have found love. Few of my acquaintances are so blessed to have a husband such as dear Richard. What's this? Not but yesterday, Richard told me that I have the finest stitch he has ever seen. Oh, to hide my blushes behind a thimble. <laughs> I like the writing in this. This is actually quite interesting. He keeps this armoire locked. Though it is in my quarters, he begs me to not to think on it. But I confess that I have spent many a night wondering as I fall asleep. Fell asleep. Richard. Dear Richard. Our curtains. It's pouring rain outside. It's pouring rain outside. We can keep going. Let's keep going. Let the man sleep. What do we got here? Perfume bottle? Perhaps as Richard sleeps, I might search for the armoire key. No harm may come from a bit of curiosity. Don't you know about the cat? Reading is the keenest pleasure I have known. And my husband's library affords me many books. I can grab a candle. Perhaps I can use this to light the room a bit. We got some over here. These unlit candles certainly are dreary. Can I light these candles with this candle? Let's light these candles. Oh! Hey! Is there anything else in here? I need to take over. Reading is the keenest! Let's look in here. Can I open this door? My lord keeps a large and drafty estate. Many of the rooms are locked during the winter months, but I have not been here long enough to see the spring. How bright and grand the house shall seem. This game's starting to kinda... give me that feeling that this is gonna get a little spooky. Richard spoke of the armoire again yesterday as I took tea with him. To what purpose does he tease me so? Is this us? This looks like us. I'm so happy the day my husband commissioned this painting. To remember you at your best, he said. Light the candles. There we go. Oh! What's this? These old houses are strange. Shall I go through the passage? I will share- What? It didn't- Oh. Should I go back? Let's go back through the passage. I'd much rather explore than go back to my quarters. Oh. I thought I could have went back into the room, but let me see this piano. It's much too dark to explore this room. Well, let's light... Well, we gotta pull this up. How do we... I gotta pull this up. Let me see here. Click on that. What a beautiful chandelier. Perhaps I should light it. Not while it's on the floor. Mm, let's do it. Oh, it automatically does it for us. Cool! Good, good. Now check the piano out. The piano. It's missing keys. Let's go get them keys. Please. Harp. Jewelry box. Another perfume bottle. There's the missing key. How odd. This is the same perfume that my husband gave me just this month past. That's not good. 
What's this clock? What's this? Richard is my husband, but he has never mentioned a child to me or that he is a widower. I can hardly believe this letter is about him. Dearest Mama, our little boy died last night. I admit that I can hardly believe it. With every moment, I expect him to come bursting into my room, demanding his nightly lullaby. Richard has not taken the death well. Oh, this is... This is the, the the lady, the ex, the other lady maybe. I'm assuming there's another lady. Richard has not taken the death well. He has never been a good man, but he loved Teddy. I fear what he will do now that our baby is gone. He has taken to making me play Teddy's lullaby over and over. The music soothes him, but it does not soothe me. I'm so melancholy. Creep. Creepy. Uh, this is just gonna read the thing. Give me the piano key. I don't know how to play the piano yet. I don't want to wake up the man. Uh. Okay. The art in this game is looking pretty. That man is my husband, but that woman is not me. The face is scra scratched out. That child is not mine. Does he not love me as he did them? I can leave, not leaving just yet. A teddy bear. I have dreamed of the day I might hear my own child laughing through the halls of this house. My husband, cl my husband claims he cannot produce an heir, but I wonder now if that was a falsehood. Certainly is. We're going to go back to the piano. Oh wait, what? There's footsteps here. Should we go through the door? This door is locked. There must be some way to open it. Okay. It's getting a little creepy in here. Some Victorian... Edwardian... Gameplay. It's missing keys. Give it some keys. I think I heard a door open. Let me see here. How are we going about this? Can I grab a weapon? Oh. What? Oh, stairs. Stairs? Maybe. Journey forth. What the fuck is this? A pair of scissors. There's something on them. What on earth? Take the scissors, lady! You need protection! It's... Oh, man. It's creepy in here. I cannot get past this broken armoire. Whoa! Calm yourself. Calm yourself! How do we get? There's an armoire there. I wonder where that door goes. The floor has rotten away. I cannot pass. I wonder where that door goes. Well, we're going in this door. This is the only way to go right now. I wish I could take those scissors. Ah. A corset? Who's this man got up in this place? A fine garment, to be sure. Cast off in haste. Whether in happy passion or in anger, I cannot say. I wonder if I know the man who owns this house enough to ever be sure. Can I wear this? Is this for us? We just picked it up. What is this? I cannot presume to know this woman, but I see myself in her fine stitch. Who was she to Richard? This cannot be another wife. Richard, you got some splaining to do. A necklace. Another lady? Another woman with my husband? To speak it true, I do not know that I can claim Richard as my husband any longer when I see how little he has told me of this. That's a pretty lady as well. Okay, okay. So, was this? We should probably... Oh, it's a diary. Another... Oh, okay, that's the other stuff. Uh, today I have seen Peter again. Truly to be with a man that views me as his equal is the dearest pleasure I have known. Richard has been odd, but I do not think he suspects. 
He would never deign to think his wife might dally with a servant. And yet, Richard claims that he has dismissed Peter, dear Peter. As lady of the house, I should and must write him a good recommendation, but Richard says that Peter will not need a letter and that I am no lady. He has, he has locked me in my quarters, the brute. I will not stand for this when he returns. Hmm. This guy? We could put the thing on there, I'm sure, but there's a note and something over there. Let's look at the note. Darling, meet me in the passageway at 11.30. Remember, it's nine on the clock. What? Nine on the clock? Is this the clock? This clock is missing its hour hand. Well, was this thing? Hmm. Put the the garter, the not the garter, the corset. Did it open anything? Oh, is that the 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 clock thing? Give me the clock thing. Okay, we'll we'll go back. Take that and put it right there. There. Now it should be in working order. It's nine on the clock. There should. Nine. Nine. Was that a door opening? Oh. Well, let's go and take a look at the other rooms just in case anything else came there that we need to double check and get. This man's got some explaining to do. Grab the scissors, lady. We're going Lorena Bobbitt on his ass. No, don't. Don't go Lorena Bobbitt on anything. Let me see here. Can I go this way? Oh, I can! Left. Uh, nothing there. So there's a door here. And a closed armoire. So let's... Can we keep going? Lady! No, where are you going? Okay, go through the door. Uh-oh. Uh... Can you shut that clock off? It's really creeping me out. It's a letter here, or letters. Dear Mr. Whitby, I write to inform. Dear Mr. Ingram, I write. Oh no! I write to inform that you that your daughter, my wife, passed away last night. Kind words cannot soften this blow. I have in. I have interred her remains in the family mausoleum and taken care of the rest. Regards, Richard. Uh. Excuse me? Mr. Ingram is my father. Richard has informed my family of my death. A fact I know to be false. This cannot be born. This man. Oh, okay, go Lorena Bobbitt on his ass. Only a man of great vanity would place a likeness of himself in his chambers. What's this way? A deer head and a door. And an armoire. I feel like there might be multiple endings to this. I don't want to die. I want to win. What's this? A shaving set. This must be Richard's room. I fear what I will find in here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. We're going back that way because there's another door over there. We need to... We we should just leave. We should take the letter and all the le Oh, we can't. We can't go that way. Can you go that way? You can't. Okay. Time to go back into the creepy room. We should just leave. Leave. Take the scissors. Get the fuck out of here. I wonder if I can take the scissors. Maybe they'll let me uh do a little something something. I'll be right back. Damn it, I can't pick them. There's armoires all over the place. Is the armoire where he... Perhaps I shall find my escape through here. Oh, so she does know she needs sleep. Hey, this came back. Do I know I have to redo that again, do I? Uh... 
Game. Game. I broke the game. So I can't get the scissors, and if you go back, it might break the game, so don't do it! Oh, jeez. This is... This game is very... It's creepy in a Edgar Allan Poe kind of way, I guess. That's my best way of describing that. This clock is creeping me the fuck out. So we have the, the layers of our deadness here. I wonder if we didn't read that, would we be able to carry on? No. We should look at the shaving set as well, because I don't think I did that before. Uh... Okay, shaving set. This is room. He's very, very vain. And I can't click anything else here. Okay, I can't get the clock. Let's go! An armoire. Deer head. A beautiful beast torn from its place and brought here to this narrow and pinched world. It's like you. My husband relishes the death of lesser animals. Another armoire. Ah! Uh, is that a bloody dress? A gun, a sword, and a bloody woman's dress. I have often hoped I might find what is in the locked armoire in my own chambers, but I have learned too much about Richard tonight to hope for the... Oh, and a key. It's not giving me any... Okay. Can I click it again? So I can read it? I know there's a sword. Now let's click on this. I can't. Okay. Give me the key. And here it is. A key that looks to match my armoire. I find that I do not wish to look, and yet I cannot go on living if I do not see inside. But if you see inside, you might not be living! Why would you... This is the door. Oh, crap. She's dead. Curiosity does kill the cat. Mm, can we do anything to this man's here? Just stab him with the key. I shan't wake the beast when I can finally glimpse inside my armoire. Stab him. Mm. Lorena Bobbitt style. No. Wait, Lorena Bobbitt had the axe. Wait. No, that's Lizzie Borden had the axe. Lorena Bobbitt did do the, the snip snip. Okay. Uh that my be my wife Z? oh here lie my curious wives oh uh, we should have just left Richard is the devil and so he shall meet the flames. Oh! Get... Get to reckon this man. Do it! Goodbye, my love. Wait, you're not gonna die too, are you? Leave! Get the hell out! Window? I will make my escape. Oh. Er. Uh. We did it! in hell, Richard. You freak. I think we did it. The Armoire by Bethany Martin and Kylie Moses. Sound by Brent Hengeveld. I hope I said your name right. Okay. That was quick. That was... That was pretty good, actually. <laughs> Again, it's hard to find good games on Game Jolt now. Oh, it is... The armoire was an adaption of the medieval fairy tale Bluebeard. For further reading on its and its adaptions, visit our website. Okay, so it is based on something. Anyway, I thought that this was pretty good. A little creepy. Thankfully, nothing bad happened to us, but we we survived and we escaped. This is nice and quick. A little creepy, but at least it didn't have any jump scares. This was a, a better type of creepiness than, like, these these jump scare games that have been so popular lately. 
I don't know, maybe I just appreciate the classics more, but this just kind of gave me anticipation of what would happen. I'd, I'm not familiar with the actual medieval story, so I didn't know what was going on, but I felt dread. Like I said, it had a very Edgar Allan Poe feel to it. But thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to try the game out for yourself, I'll have a link in the description below. And I'll catch you all next time.